I'm Steve Wiggins, and this is the Groundworks Ministries podcast. Now, today we're reading from the book of Isaiah, chapter 59. Let's focus on verses 15 through 17. Truth is missing, and whoever turns from evil is plundered. The Lord saw that there was no justice, and he was offended. He saw that there was no man, and he was amazed that there was no one interceding. Nobody's praying. So his own arm brought salvation, and his own righteousness supported him. He put on righteousness as a breastplate and a helmet of salvation on his head. He put on garments of vengeance for clothing, and he wrapped himself in zeal as in a cloak. Now, when God's patience runs out, He puts on his armor for war. Let me say that again. When God's patience runs out, he puts on his armor and he readies himself for war. And the well-known imagery of the Christian soldier in Ephesians is based on today's passage. Ephesians chapter 6, verses 10 through 17. Finally, be strengthened by the Lord and by his vast strength. Put on the full armor of God so that you can stand against the tactics of the devil. For our battle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the world powers of this darkness, against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavens. This is why you must take up the full armor of God, so that you may be able to resist in the evil day, and having prepared everything to take your stand. Stand, therefore, with the truth like a belt around your waist, righteousness like armor on your chest, and your feet sandals with readiness for the gospel of peace. Uh, and, uh, And in every way, take the shield of faith, and with it you will be able to extinguish the flaming arrows of the evil one. Take the helmet of salvation, which is... Uh, and the sword of the Spirit, which is God's Word. So we see the same vision in Psalm 18, and the Apostle John uses it to describe the Messiah in Revelation 19 when he depicts Jesus as a warrior who comes to judge the world on the last day. Put simply, God is displeased with injustice in the world. Sin is at the root of injustice, and Satan is the root of all sin. Our duty as believers is to wage spiritual battle against God's enemies, equipped with the full armor of God. After all, we are called to be a reflection of Jesus himself. So why would we not dress like him? His enemy is our enemy, and that enemy is a spiritual one. Notice how the armor in the Bible commands us to don uh, this spiritual armor. It's all spiritual in nature. Each piece is designed to protect in a special way, but no one single item can comprehensively defend. You see, because we have to defend against the wiles of the devil. He's coming at you all around. We need all of the spiritual armor working together. For instance, the breastplate is necessary to protect our heart. And yet it does nothing to protect our head or our feet. Hence, the command is that we put on the full armor of God. Notice that among all of these defensive items, there's only one piece of armor that is used for offense, the sword of the Spirit, which is God's Word. And God's Word is not simply a thing. It is also a person. Who is God's Word? What person is this? Well, he's Jesus himself. John chapter 1, verses 1 through 5 speaks of one known as the Word. He says this, In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God. Oh, God had a companion. And the Word was God. Oh, oh, I get it. That's weird. He's with God, and He is God at the same time. The Bible says He was with Him in the beginning, and apart from Him, not one thing was created. Life was in Him, and that life was the light of men. And that light shone in the darkness, and yet the darkness did not overcome it. And then in John 1, 14, as we're scratching our heads and we're wondering, I wonder who this word was. And the word became flesh and dwelt among us. And we beheld his glory, the glory as of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. So the believer is equipped for defense. 
But our power to overcome is the same source as Isaiah describes today. While we live in obedience to the written word, it is Jesus, the word made flesh, who provides the victory. Apart from him, we're powerless to defend against sin and Satan. And yet, the word of God, the sword of the spirit, Jesus completely destroys. I'm Steve Wiggins, and this is the Groundworks Ministries podcast. Now, Groundworks Ministries operates entirely through financial donations from faithful people just like you. And yes, we do need your monthly support. Donating is secure, and it's easy at our website, groundworksministries.com. Another way to help is just tell people about us. Tell them about Groundworks Ministries. Share these podcasts with friends and family. Share it on your social media. And of course, you can always direct folks to our website, groundworksministries.com. 